it's a bright and sunny day today. I love it. Um, and I'm off work and it's three o'clock and I'm just happy, happy, happy. Um, so what's going on today? I think yesterday and I believe today that I have eaten too much. I have not eaten the wrong things. I have eaten too much of the right things. And I'm having this mental wrestling thing going on in my head because all of a sudden I have all these choices of foods that I can eat and this is what I want to do. I want to start my day off the first time that I'm hungry with a protein shake and I bought some whey protein isolate. I bought 10 pound bag. I got it like for, because I got so much, I got it for half price. So, <clears throat> instead of doing a scoop, which is 25 proteins, I'm doing um, 47 proteins. And mixing that with a one cup of almond milk, the calories end up being about 200, although I am not counting calories, it's just kind of a number in my head, but what I would like to do is I would like to start my first meal or whatever with this protein shake. But then I get worried that the lunch that I packed, which looks really good, I won't be able to eat it because I'll be too full and that I really should be having a protein shake for lunch, but that bores me. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna have a protein shake and then because I'm such a big girl, I am not going to be needing any food and I want some food. So, I know that the last couple of days I've eaten too much. Um, I should have stopped or I shouldn't have eaten at all. So, Having this quandary, I haven't weighed, and you know, I, I'm not eating sugars or starches, but that doesn't, that's not the point, I think, at this point, at this time. So, enough of that. Um, I would love some thoughts. If you've had the same thoughts, I sure would love that on P3, those of us who are trying to do this hunger scale all of a sudden. Sounds like everybody's doing really well with it. I don't feel like I'm doing well with it. I want to, and I know what I need to do. But I'm also still mentally hooked on the idea of wanting to taste new foods and not just eat, drink a protein shake. The other thing I wanted to talk about um, are Capella drops, the Capella flavored drops. Those of you who've been around long enough know what those are. Um, but the Capella drops are these just these little droppers that come in like 50 different flavors and my absolute favorite flavor drops are the vanilla cupcake and the um, vanilla custard and today for the first time I put like four four drops of the vanilla custard in my tea this morning and it was divine it was beyond divine and I couple that with my regular flavored stevia and you guys I'm I, I hear you guys over and over talk about um, stevia and how bitter it can get if you put too much in it I have a brand of stevia that does not get bitter it's the brand is Cal K-A-L and um, you can get it online, just Google it, or Yahoo shopping it, or whatever you do to find your best price. I get mine at luckyvitamin.com because I just always order most of my stuff from there. And if I have a $100 order, then it's free shipping. So I always make sure that I order what I need. This stuff, you can put a whole dropper full, you know, in a cup of tea, and all it does is get too sweet. But if you couple the Capella drops with the vanilla steve or with the stevia, you can have just a huge amount of different flavors. But I have like orange, orange creamsicle um, Capella drops with the stevia. I can make you know my 
whipping sickle um, soda pops I can make. Um, you know, I also have a what is it called? Where you put the pump the carbon, you use your own water and you put the carbonation in it yourself. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. Um, but anyway, so I make my own sodas. That's what I'm trying to say, my own diet sodas whenever I want them here now on P3. Um, I also um, wanted to share that if I am um, getting too food pornish, please turn me off this this part of my round because so much of what's going on with me right now is just trying new foods and trying different things. Um, I have done some tasting of the Think Thin bars, like I said yesterday in my blog. We have a store that has like 12, 15 different flavors and I bought several of them. I opened up the chocolate covered strawberry Think Thin bar and ended up throwing it away. It just did nothing for me. Um, even though it cost a certain amount of money, um, yeah, it was it was not even worth my time. Anyway, um, chocolate strip, the, the uh, Carla HCG pork chop said she really liked the chocolate caramel. I do too. I like it a lot. I got uh, cookies and cream and tasted that and it's good it's just not there's not a real strong flavor you know like like other ones have been um, I had a dark chocolate I've had dark chocolate and to me I've looked on the label I swear it's got co it's got almond in it because it it's dark chocolate if you're into that and then um, I swear it tastes like an Almond Joy. So if you like Almond Joys and you like dark chocolate, the dark chocolate one is good. Um, again, I said I like the creamsicle and I like the lemon meringue pie flavors because I tend to go that direction. I tend not to do the peanut butter ones because on P3 you can have peanut butter so you can just get the chocolate bars and then throw some peanut butter on it if you want that flavor and it's more authentic. Um, anyway, and then I did read some more about some supplements and stuff, and one thing that I found that was really, really interesting is um, the uh, supplement, uh, amino acids called 5-HTP. A lot of us have taken that in the past, and after what I read, I'm pretty convinced that I want to get back on it. Um, if you take 600 milligrams in a day, you have weight loss that's three times faster, according to this newspaper article. Um, depression is reduced by 70%, pretty good numbers, um, and what it does is it releases serotonin into your system, so serotonin counteracts any depression you might have. And the other thing that I thought that was really interesting in, is um, it reduces carb cravings. So with those four elements, I think I'm going to whip out my 5-HTP and give those a whirl again. Um, anyway, I think I better stop here. I know it takes much longer to upload from this phone, but um, I just wanted to say hi. I'm sorry I'm looking really gnarly today because um, I got up and didn't even have a chance to do much makeup and had to go substitute and then had just a lot of stuff that went on this morning, so I didn't get to take care of me. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I'm planning on making HCG Darlings uh, Chili Rilano casserole tonight for dinner for my whole family. And we'll try that. And if it's good, like I'm sure it will be, I'll be having that probably for my lunch tomorrow. Or maybe my protein shake. We'll see. All right.